Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alec Petskis and I would like to talk to you about the ego and what it means for us as artists and what it does for our creations. The best way I can quickly state what the ego does to our creations is it confuses you from what you want. It may be thinking about what society wants, it may be thinking about what your culture around you wants, it may be thinking about how it could make more money, reach a broader audience, all of those different things. None of those things are necessarily bad, but if we're talking about the world of true expression, of you really trying to bring yourself to the world stage and saying, this is my art, this is what I create, this is what I offer to the world, then we really don't want to be worried about those societal pressures and those different things that can come in from the ego. We really truly just want to be concerned with tapping into ourselves and getting that true genuine feeling and expression into the world. All day long we must play society's game by society's rules. All day long you must hide your weird. This is important for the structuring of our society so that we can get along with our days without too many big problems. But it doesn't address the strangeness we all feel deep down inside. It doesn't address the fact that we all feel a little bit alienated in this world because we're stuck in our own heads perceiving this world in our own way. And no one else can perceive the world in your way. No one else can have the added sum of physical experiences and psychological experiences that you've had in this world. No one can be viewing the world through your eyes. So art is a beautiful way to show your view of this world. It's a beautiful way that we can say, this is how I feel. This is truly how I feel. And it doesn't have to be literal. There's no words. It's taking how you feel and connecting it to just that raw human form of emotion. That is why abstract painting can be so beautiful and hit us so well and have nothing literal in it whatsoever. That instrumental music can hit us so well. These things are so important because they are really truly connecting to the core of our human selves, of our human feelings. Now, if you just wanted to scribble a bunch of random chaos on a page or just strum disharmonious chords over and over and over again. Sure, you could consider that art. Who wants to hear that? Who wants to see that? Is that beauty? Is that going to bring people in? Is that really connecting to people on a true, deep human emotion? Maybe. There's a lot of weirdos, and I don't mean that in a bad way. There's a lot of different people out there is what I mean by weirdos. Our brains are all very different. Very different. We, But we have these very similar human experiences. And that is the beauty of our art. That is the beauty of true expression, is connecting with those genuine human experiences. So find you. Find what you truly have to bring into this world and do it. That's what we can do. That's what we can do. Be honest. Be genuine with yourself. That's all we can do. Expression is a crazy thing. It's a weird thing. It's an intangible thing. Uh, callbacks. That's why I have to use words like thing so often, and feeling, and experience, and these kind of vague things, because there's no way to really pinpoint it and find it. Just don't try to be cool. Try to put out you. This is going to sound really stupid, but there's nothing wrong with being you. Just be it. Just be okay with it. Honestly, do it. Just learn to love yourself. Learn to enjoy what you do. Learn to appreciate who you are and what you offer this world. Don't spend your time looking at what other people do and what they have put out there. Really, truly understand that you do have something to offer. Especially if you feel like you're an artist. If you're an artist, you do have something to offer this world. Find a way to make it as beautiful as possible and connect it to as many people as possible. That's what we can do. So thank you very much. I appreciate the crap out of anyone willing to take the time to listen to these videos, and I hope that somewhere along the line, some of these words got to you and they meant something and they inspired something, maybe something like that. Whatever, either way, thank you. I appreciate you. This is me doing my artistic pursuit in a very weird way.
but this is what I have to offer. I really genuinely truly believe that. And I'm happy for that. So I will do my best to be honest, and I will do my best to put my best information into this world and make it as short and concise as possible. Thank you. Have a great day.